So we have got to talk about a report that just came out concerning the Oklahoma Sooners looking to hire Todd Bates, former Clemson defensive line coach, and we need to break down why this would be a major hire for the Oklahoma Sooners. Before we do, as always, yawn of the drill. I want to hear from you. Hop down to the comments. Give me a why for yes and for no. Is this a hire that excites you as Sooner fans? And let me know what you're thinking. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Hit that bell notification. I do constant college football content. You don't want to miss any of it. And if you enjoyed the content, be sure to like and comment down below. But with all of that being said, let's hop right into this because this is a really solid hire and one where if you are a Clemson fan, you're probably sitting there wishing that Todd Bates would have gotten a promotion. In fact, I'm not even a Clemson fan. I'm not an Oklahoma fan, but as a neutral third party in this situation, I thought Todd Bates was in line for a promotion for the Tigers. But alas, now with what the reports are stating, Todd Bates could be the new co-defensive coordinator for Brent Venables and the Oklahoma Sooners. And if you are an Oklahoma fan, this is an awesome hire for a few different reasons, but let's take it from the top, the most obvious first. First and foremost, he has a prior relationship with Brent Venables. Brent Venables, big on relationships, but... Anytime you can work with individuals you already have familiarity with, it's going to help that process of moving. When we look at what Brent Venables has done with his staff at Oklahoma, he's got individuals on that staff that he has familiarity with, and that's only going to reduce the time it takes for this staff to start completely gelling with one another. That's going to be big for recruiting. It's going to be big with spring football right around the corner. I know there's a bit of time, but it'll be here before we know it. But and another reason this is big is Todd Bates is a real good recruiter. Instrumental in Clemson landing Brian Brees, a phenomenal defensive tackle a few years back, it's going to be very interesting to see what he can do for the Sooners on the recruiting front. Because when we look at the history of Todd Bates, that's where this can raise some eyebrows. A one-time member of the Alabama Crimson Tide and even hailing from the state of Alabama, that gives Oklahoma an individual who's coached at Clemson, who has familiarity with the South Carolina region, but also is from the state of Alabama. With Oklahoma looking to move to the SEC, getting recruiters that know how to recruit in that landscape is going to be paramount. And so whenever you're able to get in an individual who was with Clemson, and even though Clemson isn't a member of the SEC, they're in the ACC, because they have in-state rival South Carolina, they have to ensure that they are recruiting SEC country to make sure South Carolina isn't getting any of those players. That's just how football works. So not only is he familiar with that landscape from his time at Clemson, but he's also familiar with that landscape because Alabama is his home state. And even further than Alabama being his home state, even further than his time spent at the Alabama Crimson Tide, he also was an assistant coach in a high school at Alabama, giving him even more familiarity with the coaching landscape in that state. What's more is I can keep going. Not only was he an assistant coach in the state of Alabama for a high school program, but he was also assistant coach at Jacksonville State, an institution in the state of Alabama. I present all of this to you because that familiarity, those relationships are going to be key. And especially when you look into the future at what the state of Alabama holds. The state of Alabama is absolutely loaded for the 2023 class. And so if you are Brent Venables looking at the situation, getting in a guy with familiarity in that state is kind of a double win. You have the familiarity with your time spent together at Clemson. And now you get a guy recruiting the defensive line position specifically, but being co-defensive coordinator that has familiarity with SEC country because it's his home area. Now, when we talk about this, we must talk about what happens for Clemson. Because not to get scientific, but every action has an equal and opposite reaction. And if you are Clemson, this is a little bit puzzling because many, including myself, thought Bates was in line for a promotion. So what do the Tigers do from here? Because they just lost an individual that many people have had tabbed as a coach that is going to get a promotion in some way, shape, or form. Well, this is going to be something that it's interesting to see how Dabo handles this situation. I understand Todd Bates was kind of passed up for the defensive coordinator job, 
But now what is Dabo going to do at this defensive line position? I have no doubt Dabo is going to be able to find somebody to be successful, but will he be able to mirror the success Todd Bates brought that Clemson defensive front? That is going to be the ultimate question, and it's a question that must be asked because it's not like Clemson just lost Bates. They've now lost Venables. Now they've lost Bates. That's a lot to lose, and Oklahoma is sitting in a situation where all that familiarity, all that time spent together is going to come in and translate for the Sooners. So if you are an Oklahoma fan, I don't see how you wouldn't be excited about the prospect of Todd Bates coming to the Sooners for multitudes of reasons, some of them being the familiarity, others being recruiting, and then to the third is when you look into the future, getting people with that familiarity of the SEC landscape, the SEC recruiting, is exactly what you need. We know Todd Bates can coach the defensive line position. He was able to acquire one of the most wanted recruits in that cycle, Brian Brees, to go to Clemson, and so now it's going to be interesting to see what he can do for the Oklahoma Sooners. I'm very interested in hearing from Sooners fans about this because I have to imagine y'all are very excited. So hop down below, let me know exactly what you're thinking about this. That's it. See you.